교원 야! Today, guys, we're off to watch Duke La Prague in the Czech Republic Second Division because we are in Prague this weekend to watch this game. Yes, yeah, so we thought we'd come along and watch a, another game on the Saturday. The weird thing about today is it's a 10:15 in the morning kickoff. What, what's that about? It's like Sunday, like when we used to play, like eight aside. Yeah, it's 10 30 kickoff, local park. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be good fun. You want to find out more about both teams? Of course you do. And our sponsor, FOTMOB. Here you go. Yes, yeah, so today we're off to watch Dukla Prague, who are based in the fine city of Prague. The stadium is the Stadion Jaliska, which boasts a capacity of 18,000 fans. Today they take on Usti Nab Labadem, and I've pre definitely pronounced that name wrong, I feel. <laughs> Huge thanks again to our sponsor FOTMOB for not only making today possible, but every game this season possible. As you can see on your screen from them right now, they even have the Czech Republic second division on there. It really is the ideal app for a match day. We don't just say it because we're sponsored, it genuinely is perfect. Be sure to check them out on iOS and Android, free at the top of the description. They have so many leagues on the app and I hope that this is a demonstration of just how many are on there. The fact they have the Czech Republic second division. How are you feeling ahead of some Czech division two football, Ben? One word. Exciting. <laughs> You're feeling exciting? Well, I was going to say exciting. But I put you under pressure. Yeah, you threw me off track. Pressure creates diamonds. Pressure creates gibbs. Just for some context, me and Ben can't even do public transport in England. So trying to do public transport in Prague, I mean, no one's backing us. And that's fine. That's a lovely roundabout, isn't it? Ben pulls off this bottle flip, I will pay for his ticket to the stadium. <laughs> if you miss it, you've got to download FOTMOB. Ah. Well, we're definitely in the right place because we found the club shop. The kids sponsored by Adidas, that is lovely. And I thought this sign was about you, but I saw it had a K and not an N. <laughs> wherever you go, wherever the country, you can always guarantee that Ed Sheeran's shape of you will be playing in the stadium before the game, because we can hear it emanating from here. Will Ed just go away? We can hear the music from here, can you guys? I don't know if it's picking up on the camera, but we're still about a 10 minute walk away. This is crazy. This is a Division 2 game. I don't know how we actually get to the stadium. We're underneath. <laughs> Go on, Ben. We're now in a group of like six, six different people that can't find the stadium. It's not just us. We're in a little convoy. A gaggle of people trying to find the stadium. I just spoke to an English guy carrying sunflowers. Yeah. And now we're in a gaggle of Czech people. Stop using the word gaggle. No one told me there was a stairway to heaven to get up to the stadium. It's like 900 steps. We've arrived. Our journey down here was a round trip of 15 miles from our hotel because, as I said, we are already in Prague, which takes our season total miles to 2,805. Welcome to Dukla Prague, Ben. Lovely, yeah. It is lovely. We're actually there, yeah. We've still got another 10 minute walk, 5 minute tram. Why there. is this? This is the hardest stadium in the world to find. How nice this club shop is. It's a little log cabin. Oh my god, this view is exceptional. What on earth? You can see the whole of Prague from here. Me and Ben both got a hot dog, which is this big. Um, in context, it's nearly as big as the pitch. Um, and a Pepsi each, and it came to like six pound. Jesus Christ, this is amazing. And the view, look at the view. I can't actually overstate how beautiful the view is. This is amazing. Right, now we're finally in and settled down, and the game's still 0-0, 23 minutes in. Uh, I'm gonna show you, just. I'm gonna try and show how beautiful the stadium is, because I don't think we've ever been to a stadium like this. The view is amazing, like, and yeah, incredible. What are your thoughts on the stadium in three words? Best we've seen. Oh, lovely. Right, yeah, this is what the stadium's like, guys. A montage. Fully aware that my camera skills probably did not showcase this, and it's harder to say on camera. I think it's something you have to see. So if you're ever in Prague, come watch Duke La Prague to come and pop, what, play a game. Tickets are a fiver each. 10.15 kickoff. You can then go do anything else the rest of your day. Awesome. Also a side note, the guy in front of us at the bar ordered six beers and it came to 180, which is under one pound a beer at a football stadium. You love to see it. Oh, it's gotta be! Oh, he's missed! 
Like one negative of the stadium, and it is a negative because this is such an amazing stadium, is that it genuinely is basically abandoned. Don't get me wrong, the stadium is amazing and it's, the view is incredible and probably the nicest view you, we've seen of a football stadium. So I definitely recommend coming if you're out here. The issue being that the stadium is basically abandoned and what I mean is it can hold 18,000 people and there's probably about 1,000 here. We also realised to not be offensive and mispronounce the blue and white's name, they're just going to be referred to as Czech Reading for this game. Do you reckon anyone's ever done a celebration involving that mat? Surely. If not, then they're just wasting it. This guy down here has somehow managed to dislocate his shoulder and we're not actually sure how. Someone hit it. Oh my. This is beautiful. Oh my god! Does this song just get everywhere? <laughs> Where do people from Czech Republic go to get their building supplies? Don't know, Ellis, where? Czechatrade.com There's some beer and a wheelbarrow at the football. Half-time, 1-0 to Dugla Prague. It's a really lovely stadium. It's so cool being in Prague. It's so cool being in Europe. And thanks to all you guys for making this possible. Thanks to Fotmob for making it possible. And this is incredible. This is the first game of the weekend. This is the taster for the weekend. Tomorrow is going to be the best game of the season so far. It's, there's no doubt about it. It's going to be insane. We thought we'd come out to this game as well just to give you guys some extra content and so far it's been great. Like I said, it's a shame about the stadium being abandoned, but it is what it is. Half time, here's the stats for the day and the season so far. Also be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We're under 500 subscribers away from 50,000 subscribers. Please do it or not, I will cry. Tickets came to a total of £15. Travel came to a total of £10 because we're already in Prague. And food came to a total of £10 because Prague is so cheap. The man up there was wearing a Birmingham City jacket, so Ben stopped him thinking he was from Birmingham and at first we thought he was because obviously he had like an, a bit of an accent which is obviously understandable we're in Prague, so he thought he was from Birmingham but he wasn't, he was from Prague. Just turns out he'd been to watch Birmingham, absolute hero. He loves Chayad, He just loves Chayad. he plays for Southampton. He loves Lukas Jukovic, I don't know if he's still there either. Nikola Zigic. Ben's got a ball, he's giving it back. <laughs> oh my god, this guy's got a border collie and he kicks the ball to him and he retrieves it. That is adorable. There's another dog there, this is amazing. Look at it, he's so proud. Come on, Come on boys! Straight away, second half, he's in. It's 2 0 already! Carnage! Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 Oh my god, the mascot is one of the worst ever. That is abysmal. That's going to kill us. Hello! Hello! <laughs> what a geezer. And how did the striker celebrate? We ran over and beefed them seven away fans. He went over and shushed them. They come again, he's in, he's got a square on. He's messed it up. He's got a square, he's got a, he's got a stalk on. <laughs> Both simultaneously pointing. What I love about this is they've segregated the seven away fans, but also the seven away fans have bought three flags. That is unreal commitment from them. Proper fans, but once again, I don't know why they're actually segregated away. They don't like they're going to cause absolute carnage. This is honestly so relaxing. It's a, where is everyone though? Why is the stadium so empty? The moon is still up, it's nearly midday. So technically we could class this as maybe an evening fixture if you wanted to. The away team have scored, it's 2-1. I was literally just saying to Ben, if someone's bet on both teams to score, there's no chance they're winning. And as I said it, the pass back went towards the keeper and they've just rounded him. And the seven away fans are chirping. You know, we've got a list of everywhere we want to visit yeah. in Europe. Well, yeah. we can check this one off the list. Because <laughs> we're in Czech Republic. You love to see it. Ben, how do people in Prague pay for their food? I don't know, Alex. How do they? Buy a check. Do oh. you get it because we're in Czech Republic? <laughs> oh my god, it's 2 2. What has happened? There's seven fans. We need to go join them. To make the last five minutes of the game interesting, Ben has put a five on Dukla to win. What does it return? 20. 20 quid. Not that it hasn't been interesting. But if it, no, it has been. But if it returns 20 quid, that's actually covered everything we've spent for this game. Dougal are in. Go on. Yes! Come on! 
What a bet from Ben Gibbs. Football for free. Come on. <laughs> Full time free to Duke La Prague. We will speak in a second and we'll also see you in a few days' time as well. We'll speak in a second. Great day, great weather, and it's only midday now. Let's go get pissed. <laughs> Don't turn off just yet. If you haven't enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. Can we get 1,000 likes on this video? To be fair, I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't because we've got the main away day going up on Monday and this is a bonus one. But every single away day of this season so far has hit 1,000 likes. So I would love to have a whole season of us hitting 1,000 likes every video because that would be just amazing. Also, if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe. Genuinely, we are like 400 away from 50,000 subscribers as of this video going live. So to hit that would be like incredible. Um, that would be probably the biggest goal we are going to hit and it'd be amazing to hit it. So please help us do it. If not, Ben will be on the streets. Also, in regards to saying the game was basically an abandoned stadium, I genuinely believe it was. The stadium in itself with the views and everything around it is lovely. And the fans that were there were great. There's probably about 600 fans there, I'd say in total. The atmosphere that they created was okay for the level um, and the stadium's views are great but obviously with an athletics track around it wasn't the best uh, having that around it. We also spoke to a player at the end of the game and he said he loves um, the view of the stadium. Uh, we're not going to say which player it was just in case anyone from the club sees this. He said he loved the view of the stadium and everything around it but he didn't like the fact that there was no one coming to watch the games. He said it's, it feels weird playing a stadium of 18,000 people and no one turning up to watch. So. Yeah, it's not just us saying it's basically abandoned. It's one of the players too. So if you're going to moan about the, that, then just don't, all right? If you're not around here, subscribe. See you on Monday for the biggest away day of the season. Or if you're watching this in the future, watch the Sparta Prague against Slavia Prague video. It's going to blow your tits off. See you then. Here we go. Oh. Ha ha ha!